to us. I have a mother. Hello, mom. Happy Mother's Day. So glad that God has blessed me with a wonderful mother. Girls and boys, our memory verse comes from Colossians 3 and 20. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases God. Three things stand out very strong in this scripture. The Bible is talking to children. We as children must learn how to obey God while we are very young. Obeying God is a rule that comes from the Bible. God expects children to learn the rules of obeying. Because when we learn to obey the word of God, we learn to obey our parents, we learn to obey God, and we learn to live a life that pleases God. The second most important thing in this scripture is that we almost always should obey parents. Not sometimes, but we must obey parents all times. Do not choose what to obey, but, uh, but choose to always obey. This is what pleases God. The third and most important thing about this scripture is that it pleases God when children obey their parents. If you disobey parents, you displease God. And when we displease God, we commit a sin. But God wants to bless us. Boys and girls, God has promised many blessings. And blessings is what God has in store for every boy and girl. God's blessings are God's promises to those who are obedient. These are the blessings of God. Number one, that you would live a long life. You must seek to live to please God. Seek to, 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 to find the will of God for your life. When you seek to find the will of God for your life, it means that you're going to be very careful. You're not going to uh, live a life that has no self-control. Because when you live life carelessly, when you live life to do what you please and not to please God, it can cause death to come too soon. Secondly, the promise of God is for protection. Ecclesiastes 8 and 5 says, Those who obey him will not be punished. Those who are wise will find a time and a way to do what is right. If bad things happen, God finds a way to turn it around for your good. So boys and girls, if you want divine protection from God, you must obey God's laws. You must obey your parents. Another blessing that comes from God is gladness. The most joyful people in the world are those who are always seeking to please God. So gladness is a blessing. The fourth blessing that comes in obedience is peace. Great peace. Even in a world where there's trouble, where there's fear, where there's diseases, when we obey God, He gives us great peace. Peace that most people can't understand. Another blessing that comes from God is assurance of salvation. You will know for sure that when you die, 
you will go to be with God in heaven. And that is a very important promise from God. And number six, answers to prayer. If we seek to obey God, He promises to answer our prayers. Boys and girls, every night, every day, as often as possible, we pray for God to bless us. We pray for God to heal us. And we pray for God to do great things in the lives for those who love us. And so when we pray, God answers our prayers when we are obedient. And number seven, the conscious presence of Jesus is always evident when we obey God's laws. God is always with us. But only when we spend time uh, making sure that we obey His word, we are more aware that God is with us. So remember these points, boys and girls. Let's repeat that memory verse again. Colossians 3 and 20. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases God. Now we will hear from the Kingdom Kids all the way from Nigeria.
Wasn't that wonderful? Boys and girls, we so appreciate that group from Nigeria. You know, we are all alive today because our mothers carried us in her womb until it was time for us to be born. Mothers are very special to God. God created the first mother all the way back in the beginning. When he created the first man, he created the first woman. And the name of the first woman, the first mother of all living things was Eve. And God created a command. He said, children, obey your parents. Obey your mother because this pleases God. This honors your mother. And so, boys and girls, it is a sin when we dishonor our mothers. A sin when we dishonor our fathers. Because it is a command from God. We ought to respect our mothers. Because respect demonstrates love. Love for our mothers is a command from God. And when we do not honor our mother, when we do not obey our mother, it is a sin. And so boys and girls, we want to encourage you today that this special Mother's Day, that you make a decision to love your mother by obeying her, by showing her great respect. So let's go to the big question for today. And that question comes from Lauren. Hi, Pastor Margo. I am Lauren. I'm four years old. Do people die when they sin? Great question, Lauren. I believe that the answer can be found in the video of the form. So let's go to that video right now. In the beginning, God created absolutely everything, including the first two people, Adam and Eve. He placed them in a garden named Eden. They had all of the food they wanted. Nothing bad ever happened. Adam and Eve were very happy. That's because God himself was with them. God loved them so much, he came looking for them every day. Adam, Eve, where are you? When Adam and Eve heard God's voice, they ran to him. God loved Adam and Eve very much, and they loved God right back. God gave them everything in the garden to enjoy, but there was one tree they could not eat from. God said if they ate from that tree, they would die. A serpent came to Eve, but he wasn't just any serpent. He was Satan in disguise. Did God really say not to eat from any of the trees in this garden? No, that's not what he said. He said we could eat from any tree we want to, except that one. If we do, even if we touch it, we will die. Are you sure? I think God is holding out on you. He knows if you eat the fruit from that tree, you will become like him. Sounds to me like this God of yours isn't telling you the whole truth. Eve listened to what the serpent said. That was her first mistake. Then she looked at the tree God told her not to eat from. That was her second mistake. The more Eve looked at the fruit on that tree, the yummier it seemed. Soon, she wanted that fruit more than she wanted to believe and obey God. So Eve picked the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam, who ate it too. The serpent was very happy, but Adam and Eve were not. Suddenly, they realized they were naked. This time, when Adam and Eve heard the voice of God, they didn't run to him like they had before. Instead, they hid. Still, God searched for them. Adam? Eve, where are you? Over here, God. I heard you coming and I hid because I was naked. When God heard Adam's words, he was filled with a deep, deep sadness. Who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? It was the woman you gave me. She gave me the fruit. It, it was the serpent. He tricked me. God was sad. He knew nothing would ever be the same. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That's sin, and sin separates people from God. 
Sin had come into the world. Adam and Eve had to leave the garden God had just made for them. It was a very sad day. But even though the world would never be the same, God already had a plan to fix our broken friendship with Him. So even though this is the end of this story, it wasn't really the end at all. You see, all of this happened in the beginning. Boys and girls, the very first sin that was committed was the sin of disobedience. And the very first man and the first woman that God created committed this sin. This is a sin that's easily committed by anyone. But remember, it is a sin that displeases God. And so, boys and girls, when we commit sin of disobedience, God is very angry. And He loves us so much that He made a way to cleanse us from the, our sins and to help us receive the gift of eternal life. So, to answer Lauren's question, yes, sin does lead to death. But accepting Jesus Christ gives us the opportunity to live again. Let's see how Lizzie and Dred will celebrate this Mother's Day. Hey, it's Mother's Day today. What do you mean so? What do you do on Mother's Day, Ma? We celebrate because our mothers gave birth to us. For real? Me and Todd, today was Labor Day, you know. I <laughs> think that's something different. Well, let me see. What you supposed to do upon Mother's Day, though? We're supposed to do things that will make our mothers happy, like cook the meals, clean up, buy her things, and look after her. For real? That's a whole heap of work, man. Me not know if me can do all that, you see? It's bad man them don't play all the working thing them, you see? Besides, me not believe it's fear. What's not fair? Well, there's a Mother's Day during the year. But what pun the children them? Me not have no day. Me think we should have a day, a special day just for the kids them. What do you say? And what would the mothers do for the kids day? Well, let me say. Me say the same thing pan what the children do for the mothers them. The mothers them must do for the children them. Me I want them to cook. Me I want them to clean. Me I want them to make I and I feel nice, you see? Great. What? Think what pan you say? What pan you say? Rude girl, huh? Say something, say something. Think about it. Me I think all the time they call me bad man philosopher, you see? Our mothers do that for us every day. You know, when we have to think about it, me I think you wanted something there, you know. I think you're right, Mr. Little Hannah. Yes, except for today. We get 364 days a year and our mothers only get one. Wow, that's a real talk, man. We better make today a special one then. Last year, we forget to buy something that is special for the women that you see. But this year, me and make sure me and find something nice. Something I read. What do you say? My dad says he always gets her something that she can return. Bad man them not returnable. I think me and get a receipt for that one. Just remember to do something special for your mom today. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day!
Happy Mother's Day. Day. Irie. Back up road, girl. Back up, back up. Me not want like a road, you see? Me a straight. Real but talk. I'm already, but I'm already um, spaced away from you. Did you get tested? Uh, um, no. Me tested, so me straight. Social distancing, yes, eh? Stay six feet pan more away from I man. Back up. I'm already six, like three feet away from you. Me again, road girl, me again. Thank you, Lizzie and Dred. You're gonna make your mom super happy today. Boys and girls, I want to share some tips with you that I use to make my mom happy, to make her feel like she's honored. My mother, Rachel Edwards, is still alive. She's 87 years old, and I love to make her feel proud. So these are some things that I did as a child and still do today. Number one, make sure the way you dress is appropriate. The way you dress for school, the way you dress to go to church, the way you dress to go and have fun. Make sure you look well and you're not exposing anything that you do not need to expose. Number two, the words you speak. Always choose your words carefully. Do not use curse words. Do not use language that embarrass others and that will embarrass your mother. Choose your words carefully. When you choose your words carefully, you honor your mother. Number three, the places where you go. Make sure you go to places that are safe, places that will not get you into trouble with the police. Choose places where you are expected to be. If mom sends you to school, go to school. If mom sends you to your grandmother's house, be there. Choose the places where you go and honor mom. And lastly, the friends you keep. The Bible tells us that bad company corrupts good character. So boys and girls, it means that you must choose your friends carefully. If there are kids that are making trouble in your school or in your neighborhood, do not hang out with those kids. You can give them some good advice, but make sure you're not following the crowd. Choose your friends wisely and make mom proud. Boys and girls, today is Mother's Day and we want to honor mothers everywhere. You want to honor your mother. So why don't you pray with me today and make a decision that from this day, you will obey your mother. Why don't we pray? Repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ into the world to die on the cross to pay for my sins. Father, Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me for all the times I disobeyed mom and dad. Because when I disobey, I displease you. I ask you to come into my life and make me a new creature. Boys and girls, this is a day to celebrate. We celebrate Mother's Day. We thank God for the wonderful mothers in our lives, mothers who love us and protect us, mothers who sacrifice so much. But today, boys and girls, there are many of you who are celebrating birthdays. Today, Madison, Madison Nesbitt is celebrating her birthday, and many of you are celebrating their birthdays. So I'm gonna get my hat.
See you next week, over and out. My mother is Rachel Naomi Grant Edwards. From a little girl, I always thought that I was blessed to have a mother like mommy and that she was always somebody I looked up to, a great role model, someone who encouraged me in every way, shape or form. So she would tell me that seeking and serving God was the best thing that I could always do because he would direct my path. And once I listened to him, there would be no whole spot, nothing that would stop me from being all that I need to become. Secondly, she would always tell me that my reputation and my character would always make room for me if I continue to protect them, never to allow anything to sully them, because those are the things that would speak for me. And thirdly, she always told me that I could become anything that I wanted to become once I trust God and once I put all of the effort and energy into making it happen. What I couldn't do, God would do it. And you know, I've proven all these things to be true over the many years. And I thank God for Mummy because she is one of the dearest persons in the world to me and also the best mother I believe that anyone could ever have. Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. We love you. Mwah. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, Mom. We, we love you. you. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arrive. She calls her blessed. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. We love you. Happy Mother's Day, Aunt Bonnie. Go. Happy Mother's Day, Aunt Bonnie. I love you. I hope everything's going good with you back home. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I miss you and I love you. Mwah. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you for continuing to provide for us. And may all the days of your life be happy. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Deep